We have officially made it to the halfway point of the Thrift My Way to the USA video series. Over the last eight weeks, we've been sifting through local thrift stores to try and find items that we can sell for a profit on eBay. The goal is to save $8,000 over a 16 week period so we can fly our way over to America and source some really great items. Today, well, it's no different. Let's dive into these thrift stores and we'll see what we can get. Fast start guys, I've got the Jordan Mid Ones. These are a pair of US size five youth and they're $15. I don't usually buy the smaller sizes, but they were just a crispy pair, so I had to go ahead and purchase. We've got the Gel Noosa Tri Nines. These can turn into about 70, but I made the rookie mistake of buying them without checking the soles. The reason that bad things happen to you is because you're a dumbass. <laughs> You live and you learn, I suppose. I've got these as well. We've got the Nike Pegasus 37s. You can always rely on a good $60 with these. These are in great condition. Um, look, I dare say that they'll move in a pretty quick space of time as well. Checked out the DVDs and there was look, plenty of opportunity. It was just a price point that was really biting me in the butt. I've got these two Banshee uh, DVDs. These are a, a Series 1-2 combo, but you weren't going to make too much money. Nor could I with these um, PlayStation 2 games either. I thought Heath Ledger might have come through with some goods, but unfortunately, not on this occasion at the 2 dollar purchase price this one though the others well look it turns into about fifteen dollars so i've gone ahead and made the two dollar purchase on that one there we dove into some clothing and i found this super dry long sleeve button up shirt i really love buying super dry it always sells well especially the larger sizes this is a 3xl so $8, I should turn this one into about $35 to $40 free postage. There was a second shirt that I also found as well. David Smith, hopefully you guys have already heard about this brand and are consuming it when you're seeing it in the thrift, but for $4, this was a size 2XL as well, and I should get about $45 to $50. So I used a loyalty card, $20 off. Well guys, not too bad of a way to kick off the day. A number of really great items there. I noticed before I turned the camera on today that only 60% of you that watch these videos are actually subscribed to the channel. So in order to get those numbers up, I'm going to be doing a bit of a giveaway in today's video. I've just picked up these shoes, the Nike Air Max ones. These are the Hyperfuse. They were US size 9. $25 was the cost that I paid. Uh, I reckon you can get about $80 to $100 for these shoes. So perfect shoe to do as a giveaway. All you need to do is comment Nike Air Max 1 into the comments below subscribe to the channel obviously and like the video so i appreciate your support go ahead and do that be in the draw to win the nike air max ones Well, guys, there is a first for everything. I've been able to find this SeaWorld wetsuit. Um, look, there was a $20 purchase price on this one. I really sat on the fence for quite some time and ended up putting it up as an Instagram viewer poll question. So let me know your thoughts on that. For $9, we've got the Levi Strauss 505s, 40 waist, 30 length. I don't love the size of that, but at the purchase price, I can't really be saying no. I've also found these as well. These are the Diesel Darrens. Now, 34 waist, 32 length. That's more like it. A $9 purchase price on these. I'm very, very happy to be finding them. They should turn... I reckon about $50, maybe even $60. It's just such a good brand. Um, so two really good pairs of jeans there. I, I kept with the jeans. I actually found some jorts, some jean shorts here. We've got the 505s. Um, look, they should go into about $35. I, I sell the Levi brand pretty comfortably on eBay. For $5, how can you go wrong? We've got the Rivka uh, board shorts here. These are a 32 waist, so the size is really good here. I reckon I can convert them into about $28.95, maybe even $30 bucks free postage. So I've gone ahead and done that. I've also got this one as well. This is the Mac Pack. So it's a New Zealand brand, really good sort of hiking brand, I believe. And um, to find this in a women's size 16, I think that is, um, this was an $8 purchase price and you cannot be going wrong with that. I'm thinking maybe $40 to $50, genuinely, just a really good brand for you guys to be looking out for. Now guys, I love my hats, you guys know that. I've got this Bondi Surf Club Australia hat for $4. I think it might even be vintage. It looks pretty old school and I do look for that sort of stuff. So. Purchase price, four bucks. Sale price, maybe 35, something like that. And then this was a Michigan New Era hat for $4. It was fitted, which it's not ideal. I prefer it to be adjustable because then that opens it up to more buyers. But this one here, a size seven and a quarter. Um, the New Era brand is a good one. So that tells me I should be able to make a couple of bucks. So for $4, I bought it. And then I also got these as well. These are a Puma Evo Speed 4s. They're only a $6 purchase price. So I couldn't really be saying no to that. But guys, for the second time today, I didn't check it, and there were some issues with the soles yet again. You're a dumbass. <laughs> I did redeem myself though. These are the Adidas Galottos and they should go into about $45 with a $6 purchase price there. So I have burnt myself with two pairs of shoes today. It's not something I usually do, but on this occasion, I have stuffed up. 
Well, guys, the SeaWorld wetsuit, it was certainly a, a, a unique item. I just, there was too many questions for me. You guys said to go ahead and cop it, and rightly so, pretty unique, cool item, but I just didn't know how much I could sell it for. I didn't know what the sell-through rate would be. Who, who's, who even wants a SeaWorld wetsuit? My name's Kitz Velvet. I am trainer of dolphins. You want to talk to the dolphin, you'll talk to me. I don't know. There was just too many questions. I left it behind. Let's keep moving. Well, it's always a good day when you're finding bronze in the thrift, guys. We've got a pair of Nike LeBron James basketball shoes here. A $40 purchase price, though. I just cannot be doing that. As cool as they look, the resale value, believe it or not, was only the $60. So I left that one behind. These are a really nice pair of shoes as well. Unfortunately, this op shop that we're in right here is uh, pretty much hemorrhaging on uh, expensive price points. So $30, you're just not going to sell anything at that price. I had to put them back onto the shelf. Uh, these are an Instagram view poll question in another op shop. I found them right there for the $5 purchase price. They were unbranded though. So Instagram view poll, let me know your thoughts on those. We've got the Mambo shoes here. How cool are these? These are a pair of vintage Mambos with the push start skater on the bottom. Look at that. The wheel pops out. That is just very cool. Uh, but I did pass though. It wasn't that cool. Um, also got these as well. Pole Dark Series 1 and 2. I've gone ahead and picked these up. There were a few other DVDs to pick through here as well. In the end, I just grabbed Monster Garage Box 2 as you can see there because it was brand new and sealed. Um, all the other ones I comped up thinking they would be good, but unfortunately they weren't. Now guys, these copper drop segments are designed for you to try and help me out in the thrift and the votes on this uh, Superman high tops we're far too close, and when you have doubt, I have doubt, and for that reason, I left it behind. 52% of you said to go ahead and drop them, so that's what I have gone ahead and done, but um, look, I just think unbranded shoes, high tops, yeah, cool, Superman, but I'm always buying quality over quantity, guys, and I think that's the right way, that's the right mentality to have, so because they were unbranded, as cool as they looked, I had to leave them behind. Well guys, it's been a pretty successful day, but things are about to get a lot more interesting. I've just found that this store has decided to do a $1 sale, and there are some incredible DVDs. A lot of Hogan's Heroes. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Gee, there's a lot of them. There is, I've got heaps more. Really? Wow. You like them? So what That's like a full set, hey? It is. Have you got any more coming out? Uh, I can have. Why? Are you looking for something particular? Yeah, I'm always looking for like TV series. Alright, well, why don't you come with me? Yeah. Is that yours? Yeah. yeah well, you make sure you pick it up. I might, I might grab a few um, off this stack to start with. I might put them into that little box if that's okay. That one? Yeah. Yes, definitely. And then I'll come in and find you. So before I go and catch up with my good mate Helen, uh, I've got a few DVDs to pick out here. Pretty Little Lies, Seasons 1 to 5. That was the first one that strayed into the basket. That was a good little grab. Should go pretty well. I've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Season 5. This is a massive bolo, guys. It goes upwards of $50 to $60 for just the single season alone. Definitely one for you guys to be looking out for. It, it, there's a lot of different variations of Ninja Turtles, but that's a good one. Um, this one here as well, the Crocodile Hunter Collision Course, sold it a number of times around the $15 price point, so that was a no brainer. Uh, Murder Mystery Collection with Ag Agatha Christie, that one goes into about 20 bucks as well. Paid the $4 at a dollar per DVD for that set. Invaders from Mars, this was a 50th anniversary special edition. That one goes into about 30 bucks overseas. So I've gone ahead and done that. Charles Bronson, that was a quick little bundle, turns into about 30 bucks. And uh, I thought, well, okay, cool little stack, but let's go and see what Helen's got out the back. The secret den, hey? Oh. I'll scare you. Yes, what's your name? Matt. Matt? Matt. Oh, Matt. G'day, yeah. Matt. Nice to see nice you. Nice to I'm whatever it says on there. <laughs> um, I don't know if any of these are oh, yeah. things you're after. Yeah, these are cool. And then oh. there's all the ones that are out there as well. Yeah. Okay. So a big thank you to Helen. I was able to get some really cool DVDs out the back. Dragon Ball Z should do really well. She had some video games as well. I grabbed that The Division game by Tom Clancy. Goes for about $15. So that was definitely worthwhile. Murder She Wrote. We had some more DVDs hiding on the shelf as well. $25 for this one here. And then we also had Keeping Up Appearances. So that one there, Seasons 1 to 4 plus the Christmas special. I'm probably going to get about $40 for that one there as well. So I did my due diligence and I checked every single disc. Unfortunately, none 
none of them were scratched. I was able to buy all 38 for $38. Well guys, I couldn't be happier with that last op shop run. That was an incredible get at just a dollar a piece to pick up all of these, a huge come up. You're looking at a total of 36 listings for my eBay store out of today's haul. It worked out to a purchase price of $4.94 per listing. So $178 worth of a spend. And I think this is gonna go on to sell for some decent money. I'll work it out now and I'll let you know what we can put towards the USA trip. All right, guys, I have crunched the numbers for today's haul, and it looks like it's about $950 worth of estimated resale value. You take out the fees, the post, and the cost of the goods, I work off about 45%. So I'm gonna deem today's haul to be about $430 worth of profit that we can put towards the USA trip that we're about to go on. So as you can see, we're really building up this kitty of $8,000, so much so that I've actually gone ahead and I've committed to the flights. So there's no turning back. We are on our way, May 23 to June 1st. It's gonna be a 10 day trip over there. Can't wait to get into it. And uh, hopefully you can be along for the ride. It'd be nice to go over there with 10,000 subscribers. That's my goal. Uh, we do have the prize draw up for grabs as well. The Nike Air Max 1 guys, get yourself in for a pair of these. Uh, all you need to do is comment Nike Air Max 1, like the video and subscribe to the channel. It'd be awesome to have you on board for the ride. Uh, my 30% clubbers, you guys are the absolute best. Thank you very much for being here. And I'll look forward to catching you again on Sunday for a flea market run.